What's going on, y'all? We are back at it again with another Canadian football reaction. It may not be CFL rules, or Canadian rules, whatever you want to call it. Maybe an American rules, but I couldn't pass this opportunity up. If you all haven't heard of this kid yet, the youngest player in CFL history to sign, you may call it a tryout agreement. You may call it a contract, whatever you want to call it. This kid is getting into a CFL camp this upcoming sp spring, summer. It doesn't matter. He's 19 years old, okay? He was scouted by Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide himself. We got my guy, Makai Tyrell. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how it's getting pronounced right now until it gets fixed, okay? So I can't even believe that this kid got signed to a professional organization he's like the kobe bryant of the cfl i mean if he makes the roster he'll be the youngest kid ever i think the philpot twins were 22 last year in their first game that they dressed this kid will be 19 if he dresses for a regular season game come the first weekend of june okay i mean i don't know what to tell you this kid got in through a territorial exemption rule in the cfl he is a winnipeg native so can be brought in by the club only a few players have done this in the history of the cfl three of the most successful ones are obviously andrew harris javon katoy and logan furland so we got three obviously big cfl names right there that have done this before but obviously have not done this at the age of this kid okay he's a receiver he's a skill guy we're about to watch high school film and tell you if this kid has what it takes to make it in the cfl let's, let's get, get into it. it so right off the bat 61190 you know since we've been doing these videos we've been calling out some heights he's probably 511 okay Let's, he's probably 5'11". And if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. And don't get me wrong, I want this kid to succeed. I want to see this kid be active at 19 years old. I mean, can you imagine how good he would be at 25? And that's when most guys come out, 24, 25, you know, shoot. This kid's about to be 19. And if he can make the roster, I mean, let's, let's see if he can. And let's check out his tape. But before we get right into it, if you guys could subscribe, leave this video with a like, leave a comment what you think about this kid. Do you think he's going to make a CFL roster? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments and I'll let you know what I think by the end of this video. Okay, so we got his first clip up right here. It looks like he's on this team with the white jerseys up at the top of the screen. I think he's going to highlight himself, but let's see. Okay, there he is at the top of the screen on the numbers. Little out route. Route could be a little bit better, but makes a dude miss. Makes another dude miss. And drags another dude into the end zone. Now, mind you, I haven't done any research on these teams that he's playing. I know it's in the U.S., but if he ain't playing in California, Texas, or Florida, and some people may even say Georgia or North Carolina, then I don't know. He might. He may be playing in this place. I haven't done enough research on the teams that he's playing. This may be for another video, but I think... Where, where do all the best football players come from? Is it California? Is it Texas? I know all my Texas dudes are going to get on to me about this. Is it Florida? I know I got those, I got some Florida dudes watching this and say, hey, Florida is the hotbed. Best, best athletes in town. Let's continue on on his highlights. Let's see where he is now. All right, down here in the slot. Little screen. Ooh. Okay, he's got a motor. Oh, he's moving. He just, got, he just burns everybody. Okay. I like that clip. That was a good clip right there. Looks like, okay, there he is at the top of the screen. Another hit screen. Make a do miss. I mean, this, this kid looks like he's got some speed. If I could give you any advice going into a CFL camp, soak up all the knowledge you can especially from being in a place like winnipeg and we just did a video a few weeks ago about comparing a guy to this player but you're gonna have a dude in kenny lawler you got obviously nick dembski there dalton shown you got so many really good receivers there you gotta take advantage of those cfl minds right there uh if you want to make the team but shoot the athleticism looks like it's there so far let's keep going all right here he is looks like he's playing running back or no it was just the arrow was off oh Little moss in the end zone? Okay. Okay. All right, we got him down here. Let's see what he does. He's off the screen. Just runs by the DB. And then the DB catches up to him, though. 
Okay. Looks like he's on grass though. So you know when you're running on grass, it's never you're never as fast as you should be. <laughs> but here we go. Red zone action. Let's see what he does. Man to man. Stems inside. Just an easy over route. Just runs by the dude. I mean, that's just a he just ran a good route there. Okay, here he is in the slot. Running a little out route. No, he fakes it. And then he breaks it, breaks it back in. Touchdown. I mean, that's easy. That's easy pickings right there. Nice route. All right, we got him in the slot. Looks like he's a slot receiver. Little corner route. No. No, he doesn't score a touchdown. Dude, this this dude knows how to like use his body. For a 19-year-old playing and not, not having a super firm grasp of football, I mean, you've only been playing probably for what I would assume a few years at this point because you can only play so much. But the control he has of his, of his body, knowing how to shake a dude, knowing that... I mean, most kids that are playing high school football don't track the near hip. They're just trying to chase you down so you can easily just step back and let them run by you. So the fact that he is using moves like that as a high schooler, I mean, it's going to be different when you come up to that CFL level. But, hey, that move will still work for sure. You see it time and time again at the pro level. So, shoot, great, great use of the body there. All right, let's see what he does here. Just to post. Take it to the house now. Outrun him. Stiff arm him. Oh, he just barely got him. He just barely got him. He's going to need that breakaway speed, though. I don't know how fast that DB was that was covering him, but you're going you're gonna to need some speed now to run with these. You have pro DB. This guy, think about it. This kid, 19 years old, is going to be going against corners that have spent time in the NFL, played long time in the CFL, like, 30, 28, 29, 30 year old dudes that understand football. So I'm, if I could get my hands on that tape just to see how those practices go, I would love to, I would love to see it. I would, that would be high, high quality content right there. All right, here he is down at the bottom. Oh no, a double pass. No, he didn't on, on three. This dude just mossed three people. Hold on. Hold on. One minute, 37 seconds later. I think he got stripped, though. I think he got stripped, judging by the sidelines reaction. But first of all, I mean, to go up, Moss two dudes, and it doesn't look like he comes down the ball. It looks like the ball got stripped, maybe. I don't know. The other team was cheering, but to go up and Moss three dudes like that is just, he's probably got a vertical jump on him. All right, down here at the bottom of the screen. Let's see what he does. A little dig route. Oh, oh. He just has that, he has that plant step that you don't see a lot of guys have at the high school level where you plant and literally just get out of the break instead of like taking a bunch of steps. Like he has, he has that intangible right there, which is good to see. Kind of down here at the bottom of the screen again. All right, that was that was an okay one. I know we're towards the end of the clips here. Not his best clips are here anymore, but we, we, he's put on a show. Good catch, make a dude miss. I mean, he's making he's making people miss. That's that's the key thing right there. Now the screen, he's the king of screens. I'll tell you that much. Good blocking, and he's just sidestepping dudes. Whew. All right, let's see it. Couple more here. Let's see what he does. In his own goal line breaks a tackle no way he gets a first down off that i mean see, he's just he's got the willpower from what it seems like let second and looks like about 14 or 13 and you run a screenplay the motivation there from him to literally catch the ball behind the line of scrimmage and say i'm gonna go get 13 yards and go get us a first down in your own end zone backed up that's that shows commitment right there. I really want to see. I want to see this dude do well. I want to see him make the team, sign a contract, be the first to ever do it as a 19-year-old pro player. We may we may be looking at possibly a future Hall of Famer. I mean, at 19, imagine by the time he's 29, he will have played 10 seasons in the CFL. God willing, that would be crazy. Okay, bottom of the screen. He's the king of screens. Makes a dude miss. I said two dudes missed. I mean, y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. Another screen. 
Just get. I think the key with this dude is they're just saying, you know what? Get the ball in this kid's hands and let's see what he can do. We know he's an athlete. That seems to be the coach's philosophy. I'm sure it's not every play, but most of this kid's highlights are screens and he's making plays. But you've obviously seen a few of those intermediate routes that he's running well. He's juking dudes and he's just got a high motor. So look, best of luck to this kid uh, as he heads into the Winnipeg Blue Bombers training camp uh, here in a few weeks as a 19 year old man. My dude, just soak up all the information you can at that camp. Work special teams. That's all I got to say. Make sure you're in every special teams rep and just ball. That's going to be the big key thing for you at cracking the roster. Play special teams. Be with the special teams coach. Know what he likes and just work hard. That, that's all I got to say. My, those are my two cents worth. But man let me know what you guys think about this kid do you think he has a chance i think he has a legitimate chance to make the cfl roster i mean he, he's shown I'm, again he's playing against high scores i know but when you just watch his tape he's he's running fast he knows how to control his body he's not running like he doesn't look like a high schooler running around out there let's just put it that way okay so Let's see how he does in camp. Hopefully he makes a team. Wishing him the best of luck. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe. Leave this video with a thumbs up. Do all the things that y'all do. And we'll see y'all in the next video. God bless. Peace.